And did you mention there's a third tracking device? Yeah, there's, there's actually uh, one that's known as a pop-off uh, satellite archival tag. So with that method, we don't need to catch the shark. So what we do there mm. is, which is used primarily for larger sharks, it, the shark can swim past the boat and we have, oh. a, we have this. I wondered what this was. Yes, this is a Hawaiian sling. So it's been modified. Yes, so... It's not for flounder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it can be. Yeah, I suppose. You, big can, do, you can do whatever you like with it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the tag slots over the top of that. Right. It's got a, an arrow head on it. Mm -hmm. Slots over the top. Uh, it's like a barbed arrow head sort of thing. Exactly. Catches in, yeah. Yep. And when the shark swims past, we, we apply the tag to just in behind the dorsal fin. Right. It has to penetrate that distance, so the, the shark is a skin-like road surface. Really? Yeah, yeah right. So, so that's like, hence the rubber on the sling. Exactly. So that's probably 100 mil mm -hmm. that penetrates for the So is that the in its flesh then, or is that still in its, its skin hide? It's basically the hide, but, right. but its exterior is really muscle. So okay, right -o. it goes into its muscle tissue. Right. And this little cylindrical object here on the side, mm. that actually takes a tissue sample at the same time. Oh, really? So for every tag shark, yep. we take a portion of skin or right tissue. Right. Yeah, it's quite sharp. Yep. Right. And, and why would you take a, a skin sample? Well, the purpose behind that is to, uh, and that's part of the project we're involved with at the moment, it's about uh, sourcing their DNA. Oh, righto. Yeah. So it's about um, mapping their their genetics. Right. So you take you uh, take a sample from a juvenile, a sample from a huge shark, thousands of miles away, and, and you realise it's from the same family. It ends up we end up with this database of information that's been mm. accumulated over twenty years of taking tissue samples. Right. Twenty years. Twenty years. That's how long it's been going on. Yep. So, yeah, I'm just a little bit behind the times here. So, it's just been uh, 20 years of accumulating mm. data, right? Tissue, tissue data. Yep. And then amazing. evaluating all that tissue to determine uh, the various relationships between the tag sharks. 